Hello everybody, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodemo. This is Christopher Drives. Yo. This is Matt Weiss. <sighs> yeah. You're good. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 Ooh. West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. They're Milwaukee's one-stop shop for all your hockey needs. You could get your goalie gear, sticks, pads, pucks, skates, figure skates, uh, referee gear. You could get fan uh, Pirates jerseys, Admirals jerseys. Uh, you can get retro jerseys. You can get your skate shop in there. By, By him. Who? By who? By good old Milos. You can uh, also get our Milos, jerseys customized as yeah. well. Milos himself, uh, the proprietor of Hockey Locker, handles your skates. Yep. And also, uh, what else can you do with your skates there if if it's the middle of the night? Oh, if you're uh, if you happen to meet the was it if you happen to leave work a uh, little bit later than you uh, usually would do. Uh, you can drop your stakes off uh, after hours. Leave your contact information, name and number. Milo shall have them ready for you when uh, he's done and uh, call you up and all you gotta do is pay. Yep. Um, Good deal. So today we got... Wait a minute, Dan. Wait a minute. But where, yeah, where, where can you uh, where go to... Where can we find, where can you find their store and how can we contact them? Oh, well, you can visit them at 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Or right. call them at... I mean, if you want to drop a line to Milos and just tell him how good he's doing and how awesome of a sponsor he is, you can call him at 414-800-7585. Or if it's late at night and you're on your computer, you can contact him at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. I'm sure he's got an email, don't you? Yeah. yeah. I wish I knew their email, but I don't, unfortunately. But it's on their website. Peruse their catalog. See what they, see what they got. Yeah. yeah. All right, so why everyone's here? Why are we here, Dan? Yeah. Oh, well, we can take a nice look at this. <gasps> NHL logos. and Predators. So, we've got the Preds. Yay. Versus the Columbus Blue Jackets. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this was actually a pretty good game. Tell me about it. You were on the edge of your seat, man. Like, it kept you entertained. For what I saw. Yeah. For what you saw, you were entertained. Oof. Oof. <laughs> so, uh, 43 shots on goal for Columbus, 36 shots on goal for Nashville. Uh, uh, Columbus. For one on the power play for the Preds. That's again, typical. typical. One for two on the Blue Jackets. But yeah. look at those Blue Jacket hits. 23 to our four. Yeah. Well, they weren't trying to play physical. They were trying to put the puck in the net. Yeah, yeah. They're more of a speed team than a hit team. Well, not tonight, apparently. Yikes. <laughs> no, I meant Nashville's a speed team. Oh, oh yeah, 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 that's true. And they blocked a lot of shots. Those were mm -hmm. pretty even. Yeah. Yeah. Giveaways, even. Not like it well, swayed one way or another. Um, so, scoring. Yeah, scoring right. in the first was Ryan Johansson with it. it with his 13th, with an assist from former Admiral Colin Blackwell. Wow, he actually played. Wow. No scratches. And Ryan Ellis, his 23rd. And then Gradley got his 15th with an assist from Forsberg, his 23rd. Way to go, Gradley. Keep, keep Gradley. Just do it. <laughs> All right. All right. So you take the second period. Uh, second period, uh, a lot of it came from uh, Columbus, our three that we have in the second period, with uh, Boone Jenner with his 11th. Uh, with an assist by, was it with an assist by Ger was it? I believe it's Nathan Gerby. With Gerby and uh, with his sixth assist and Matteo with his. Uh, uh, no, his you first. say his name right. It's Matteo. 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 <laughs> Matteo. Yeah, that's Stefan Matteo. And uh, hey. oh, oh dear, we're gonna get some cross checking here. Uh, next that was, up, uh, that was Matteo's first. <laughs> Yes, it was. It was, your, it was your toe's first assist? <laughs> uh, I don't want to hear anything about a toe or assist. <laughs> uh, next up for the Columbus Blue Jackets, we had Eric Robinson with his sixth goal with an assist by Liz, 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 Lilia. 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 Okay. Lilia with his third and Gavrikov with his tenth. Next, uh, we have uh, Emil Berm, uh, Bemstrom with his sixth. You with take a fifth the by. What's that? He's taking the next one. Okay. With an assist from Nitvara? Nudavara. Nudavara and, uh, with his fifth and uh, Savard with his ninth. All right. But. Now, uh, 
Also on the third, we got Colton Sissons picking up his eighth of the year with an assist from Philip Forsberg. That would be his 24th. There is no scoring in the third, no scoring in overtime. Uh, you want to cover uh, the shootout, Dan? Oh, how many rounds of shootout did we have, Dan? Eight. Ugh. Or seven, seven. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be nice and let Chris take the first two rounds. Go for it. All right. First shooter was uh, Pierre-Luc Dubois of the Blue Jackets. He scored. Uh, and then Philip Forsberg was the first shooter for the Preds. He got a goal. Yeah. And then we have Stefan Matteau. He uh, <laughs> took a shot, but it was saved. And then Matt Duchesne for the Preds. He took a shot, and obviously the goal was saved it. Then Emil Bernstrom, same thing, took a shot, didn't make it in. Uh, Kyle Turris, he came in, and uh, no goal. All right, so then we had Columbus Blue Jacket Gustav Nyquist with a goal, and then Ryan Ellis uh, for Nashville with a goal. Then we had Columbus with uh, Nathan Gerby save. Uh, Nashville with Ryan, Ro Ryan, Roman Yossi with a save. Uh, then we had Columbus with uh, Kevin Stenland uh, save. Uh, Nashville with Ryan Johansson with a save. Boone Jenner from Columbus with a save. Kyle Yarncock from Nashville with a save. Uh, Riley Nash from Columbus save. The Italian Grim, Grim Reaper. Reaper. Rocco Ooh. Grimaldi. Yeah. Uh, goal. Scythe. The scythe of the hockey stick. Oh. Yeah, you said the Grim Reaper, and I'm right? part Italian, so. Yeah. If anything, uh, if, anything in the su in the, if anything in the world of the supernatural can give you a proper hooking call, <laughs> it's <laughs> definitely the Grim Reaper. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so in net for uh, Columbus was Elvis Merzlekens. He stopped 33 of 36 with a point nine one seven save percentage. Say that name five and Five times I will kindly not. <laughs> All right, so then we have Juice, UC Oops. Soros, with 40 saves on 43 shots with a .930 save percentage. Referees for the game were Gordy Dwar and TJ Luxmore. Linesmen were Julian Fournier. Fournier and Brad Kovalik. Head coach for Columbus is John Tortorella. Uh, head coach for Nashville is John Hines. Scratches for Columbus is Sonny Milano, Oliver B. Arkstrad, and Gabriel Carlson. Scratches for Nashville were Dan Hamhuis, Nick Benino, and Matt Irwin. Yeah, Irwin's riding the pine. All right. Up next for Nashville. Before I say this, are we are we taking a are we taking a little pause, Dan? This is pre-trade deadline. Uh -oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. So, We're talking about the Senators, right? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Dylan forgot to adjust the logo before the start of the video. Oh, well. Whoops. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, whoa. Close That's a, enough. It's in the Matrix. Oh, God. There we go. Yeah, the Predators' next opponent is the Ottawa Senators. Go. All right, so the Ottawa Senators pre-trade. Now, they do have three injuries. Andres yep. Nielsen. Christian Wallen and Mark Berwicki. Um Chris, top line, go. All right, their top line over the last five games would be uh, Brady Kachuk, uh, their left winger. He has a goal and five assists. Uh, Jean Gabriel Peugeot, uh, their center, three goals, three assists. Has been heavily talked in three trades between Winnipeg, Vancouver, and Toronto, uh, not Toronto, uh, Tampa Bay. Yeah, but like I said, uh, Pajot, he got three goals and three assists. Uh, Anthony Duclair, he has a goal and two assists. Uh, uh, second line, uh, Duclair, that would be their right winger. Second line, uh, their left winger, Artem Anisimov. Anisimov. Anisimov, he has three goals. Their center, uh, Chris Thier Tierney. Thierney, he has nothing besides an assist. And then Connor Brown has a goal. Um, their third line's really not much besides uh, Drake Batherson. He has a goal and an assist. Oh, and then Nick Paul, their uh, left winger in the third line, he has a goal and assist over the last five. 
Their defenseman, uh, Thomas Shabbat, he has two assists. Uh, what is that, Mike Riley, he has two assists. Other than that, the rest of their defenders haven't really done much uh, this uh, past five games. All right, so let's talk about the goaltending. If anybody knows mm -hmm. about this team, you'll know it. In theory, it should be a victory. In theory. But they do want to play spoiler right now, yeah. so let's talk about that. Their starting goaltender is Craig Anderson with two wins and a loss in his last five with a 2.84 goals against average and a .915 save percentage. No shutouts. Then we have Marcus Hogberg. Uh, o oh, 2 and O. Oh. Hogberg. Um, he should go play for Rockford. Oh, we'll, we'll get into right that later. Home. We'll get into that later. Yeah. Um, he has a 5.22 goals against average with a .84, 84% save point. Yeah, 84% save percentage, which is not that good. No. Um, no shutouts. No shutouts. So, going forward, I mean, this year, the only guys that really stand out are Gene Gabriel Peugeot with 24 goals. 16 assists. Anthony Duclair with 22 goals, 15 assists. Uh, I see Brady Kachuk, too. Basically, their yeah. front line of forwards is, like, dominant. And then, then like, Other than that, they don't really have anything else. That what about they, their defenders? Like, on the whole year, who's their best defenseman? Thomas Chabot, 5 goals, 28 assists. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, so like I said, in theory, this should be a good victory. But, you know how yeah, it is. Like yeah. you said, they're trying to play spoiler. All right, so on the year, Craig Anderson is 9-14-2 with a 3.21 goals against average and a .910, save percentage. Then we have Marcus Hogberg, who is 3-7-7-3-7-7 and and with a 3.07 save percentage, or goals against average, sorry. A goal rating of, was a goalie rating of, a position rating of 65.6. Yeah. Um, and a save percentage of 0 .8, uh, 8.08. <sighs> Craig Anderson's even worse. All right, so we got two stick taps for you tonight. Ooh, what are they, Dan? First off, congrats to the Great Eight for joining the elusive. There's only eight of them the in the Club. 700 Club, which happens to be his number. Alex Ovechkin, eight goal, eight Way 700 go, goals. All right, second, there were two records set tonight. Mm -hmm. The second record is, for us, funny. The AHL, not only the leading development brand for the NHL, but we are the most advanced development of Zamboni drivers. Heck yeah. David Ares, who is the Zamboni driver for the Toronto Marlies. And the Leafs. Yep. And the Leafs, is the emergency backup goalie for the Marlies and the Leafs. Now... Carolina had both their goalies go down with injury during the game. So Ares came in, got to basically live his dream and play in the NHL. Mm -hmm. At 42 years old. At 42 years old, um, he became the NHL's oldest goalie to win in his debut ever. Stick wow. Congratulations, yeah. buddy. That's a congratulations. That's an awesome story. Plus, the Canes gave him a row, was it a, a rowling uh, support in the the locker room, basically. Let yeah, it check happen. out our I, Facebook. That video's up. Yep, that's through the uh, was it the Canes posted them themselves. We're just relaying it. But yep. Wild dad on their part, love, just to let him have his day in the sun. This was a really special moment. Even the even the head coach said like this is one of those few memories that you can like you can just pick out now. For the rest of your life. Yeah. And and you know what? Those players, they're going to be saying, I watched him do it. Mm -hmm. This is the thing. You you don't see this record broken often. No. I didn't even know it existed until tonight. Because like you said. The record before that was 41.2. <laughs> so he was 41 years, 41 and a you know, quarter. 41.2, so 41 years broken. and maybe two months. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. So, so with that being said, those are the things. Um, in this video, we are going to talk about it in both videos, so might as well get into it. So the Priors did make a trade because we are talking about this, and he is under a Nashville contract. That's true. So Nashville did make a trade. Um, they traded Mika Salamaki 
who for the Admirals this year has, while I wait for the stats to load. <laughs> All right, so Salamaki has been a fixture for the Admirals for a while and the Pirates organization. To you, Salamaki, we say thank you. Thank you, Salty. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, man. Um, thank you for all your con contributions to us and our, commu our community, not only here in Milwaukee but in Nashville. Uh, thank you for what you do on the ice, and, yeah, thanks. I mean, best of luck in your future endeavors, man. Yeah. All right, so he's played 41 games for the Admirals with a 5 goals, 10 assists, 15 points, with a plus 16 and 35 penalty minutes. Um, he was shooting. He has a shooting percentage of 6%. Um, in the last few games, so in his last five, he has a, two assists and a goal. And is a plus four. I think the thing to be said, like, I don't, I can't speak on his NHL career, like, because that's not fair to him, but. He was injury ridden. He was injury ridden, but he always has a space in the AHL. I just, like, I don't want to, like, speak of, like, speak for him, but he will always have a place in the AHL. And Admirals fans, we know, we just want to see our guys succeed. We don't care where they go. No. He's an alumni to us. He always will be. Yeah, so Salamaki, good luck in Toronto playing for the Maple Leafs. All right, so in return, the Predators get a 25-year-old, 6'6 defenseman who shoots left-handed God like we need another one of those. And we got a defender, too. He is 6'6, 230 pounds. And what would his <laughs> name be? His name is Ben Harper. He is a Canadian-slash-Australian-born player. Correct, yeah. Um, he has played in 31 games, or 34 games for the Marlies this year with one goal, 10 assists, at 11 points for a plus 9. He has 22 penalty minutes. Last year for the Ottawa Senators, so he played in the NHL last year. He was their alternate, too? Or? No, that was Bellevue. Oh, excuse me. So, yeah, he has some a NHL, AHL and NHL experience on mm -hmm. him. He played in 51 games with one goal, four assists, with five points and a minus 13, but you can't really put you a lot into that. With to, yeah, you can't put a lot into that with Ottawa. But, yeah, we'll be uh, happy to see him here and, uh, once again. Thank yeah, you, most uh, likely he will end up in Milwaukee for a few games, see what he's got, and Nashville will take a look at him. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, so that wraps up our Predators video. I think as far as uh, Harper's concerned, like I, maybe it's something that we do a little bit of focus on with our uh, newbies that come into the into the, the fold in Milwaukee. We probably give them a little bit of focus and kind of relay that with our with our Preds videos. Yeah. Because people want to people want to know firsthand yeah. as well. Like what? what like when McCarron came in, we talked about it. He came yeah. in. Oh, well, not to like try and steal a, um, you know, a Miley Cyrus song here, but uh, he came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> oh, Big Mac all the way, baby. How dare you quote Miley Cyrus? <laughs> hey, he, he is like a wrecking ball. Every time you see him on the ice, he's looking for something to hit. Dan, I feel like a boarding check is about to happen very soon if you keep talking. <laughs> at, <laughs> least, at least I did not use a Baby Shark reference. Okay, well, that's true. All right, well... All right, well, don't forget to go over to YouTube, hit that subscribe button, and uh, click cool. that bell. Ring the little bell so you get notified. All our videos go there first before they land on Facebook. Yep. And speaking of going places, also go over to Hockey Locker and check out our yeah. friends over there. Spend the money. They like that. 2002 West Hart Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can check them out at their website at? HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. Or you can call them. 414-800-7585. They're Milwaukee's number one stop shop for all your hockey needs. And, and we're from Milwaukee to Nashville. Proudly sponsored. Sweet. I'm David Goodwill, Chris Petraeus, Matt West. Yeah. <laughs>